Hey there friend, Molly Carmel here. Your coach, your bestie, but most of all, here fiercely, fiercely, fiercely devoted to your freedom. Your freedom to finding the most loving, healthy, peaceful relationship with food and with yourself. So I wrote a book called Breaking Up With Sugar. And in my experience in my diet drama and diet trauma, you know, that was really the key for me. And frankly, in the thousands and thousands and thousands of people that I've helped to find freedom, most of them were of the ilk, like me, lots of diet drama, lots of diet trauma, lots of diet roller coaster, on a diet, off a diet, on a diet, off a diet. And most of them have found that breaking up with sugar is really this, you know, this key and this freedom is on the other end of breaking up with sugar. So if you ever want to read more about me, there's a bunch of pages in this book, but spoiler alert, as a result, I don't eat sugar and I don't eat flour and I don't drink alcohol anymore. And uh, I've given up a lot of things. I've given up almost everything except for coffee that somebody would call a vice. People ask me like, so what are your vices? You know, what do you do for fun? If you get to know me, the truth is I'm like miles and miles and miles more fun without like addiction have being a noose around my neck. You know, here's what I really think about. It's such an interesting cultural thing that we have as though we need to be like proud of our vices. You know, to me, breaking up with sugar, breaking up with flour, breaking up with dieting, breaking up with alcohol, breaking up with unhealthy people. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. It's like, those didn't feel like vices to me. I mean, I guess they did feel like vices to me and that they were like a vice around my neck choking me and like sucking the life out of me. That's really the truth. You know, man, the life I live today is, oh, I, it is bigger and better and brighter and more hopeful than like anything that was happening with any of those vices in my life. And so, you know, the, the answer to, do you have any vices? Gosh, it's like, I don't even know how to answer it sometimes. You know, I always have this thought about uh, every time in New York City, I get off at this uh, subway stop called West Forth, and there are so many stairs at the West Forth station. And every single time I get to the top of those stairs, you know, in my like, body that's released all of this weight, that's been through so much and so much abuse at my hands from sugar. And I get at the top of those stairs and I think, oh, wow, this is so exciting. And so, yeah, I guess I don't have any vices. I just don't get why it's so cool to have vices. And, you know, to me, like when I have vices, when I don't have vices, my life big, 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 beautiful. When I get vices, goes around my neck, makes my life really, really, really small. And so to me, I don't know, life is big and fun and beautiful and amazing, vice free. So no, I don't have any vices. And here's what I want to say to you. Like, what's the deal with love and vices? Like, is that really true? Do you really love having vices? Could we find ways that you can let go, release, even numb out that aren't these vices that are making your life really small? And listen, if they're not making your life really small, maybe this is not a video you relate to. Go to the next one. But I might think that if you're saying, I don't know what she's talking about, like, maybe watch the video again. Maybe there's something here that's resonating. Like vices are things that choke you out of life and I don't want you to have that kind of life. For me, the things that were the hardest to give up were the things that on the other end of giving them up gave me all of the cash and prizes of life, gave me all of the light, gave me all of the hope. Effectively were the things 
that took the vice off my neck. So I want you to get thoughtful. What's the deal with needing a vice? I mean, I don't think it's that cool. I think I'm way cooler without vices, but I want to know what you think. I want to know what you are struggling with. I want to know your thoughts on this topic. So can you leave me some comments? I love to comment back and I love to make more videos about what you're struggling with and what you're curious about. And listen, we're making videos all of the time. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you turn on notifications so that you're the first to know what's going on with us. And listen, until next time, know that I am here. I am rooting you on. You are the best. See you soon.